and now basically I'm going to go over to uh, another search engine I've got because basically right now it's showing this satellite to be uh, which is basically this is supposed to be right here I'll give you this is the Korean satellite right after I made a video and posted the video BAMO it's not and it's over top of Africa right now at least that's where when I zoom in and as you see when I go along uh, with showing the uh, and basically I can minus all the way out to here to see the satellite the way it's supposed to be so now this is a development so basically can it does it have and then is the military going to talk about this all of a sudden okay so uh, and basically uh, I don't want to get involved in international but uh, I was concerned now I'm basically anyway biting my tongue because you see where it's over top of right now okay so now it becomes an international thing so that's no problem I got free speech I can say what I want so anyway that's what's going on with the satellite right now I'm gonna go over and we'll so XB 37 is over top of just gonna be over top of South America in a minute so it's gonna be catching up with whatever that's at. it's gonna get interesting dueling in the sky so now a few minutes later it seems to have gotten back on track and I apologize because basically I just popped in here and getting this now back up over Russia so Russia's got <clears throat> I guess no concerns because they must be part of the dealings of being in with this since it's a communist satellite because basically North Korea is communist okay so that's where that's at right now. So uh, I think I can minus out and go back and look at the. We can get the full trajectory, and then basically you showed it was over top of Africa a while ago. Okay, you saw it with your own eyes. Okay, so and this is all done by GPS, high satellites that don't lose track of this stuff. Okay. And you've seen it in the video, just like you see it now, and it was off of its track. So, and then I'll take you over to, and then I can go up, and there it is. That's what it is. And you've seen what it was before. I wasn't giving you any fake. And basically, let's go ahead and go back and get, uh... I'm not going to have time for this all the time, okay, but they are out there dueling somewhat, so anyhow, it always is, this is a 24-7 thing, it's always been well known in the military, and there's still plenty of, uh, I'm sure, aircraft dueling still in certain parts of the world, which I know somewhat about, but I'm not going to say where exactly, but jousting military jousting between major military mites being one in the United States and another playful bear some days so anyhow gotta keep alive and alert all the time you never know when somebody could try to pull something and the US military trains all their enlisted that so anyhow that's our X-37V United States Air Force on a secret military mission right now or it's basically concealed because it's a private mission this is somewhat okay uh, not really under uh, you know wraps big time but the idea that it was basically they didn't mention too much what it was up to this time it was more of a what do they call it in their own words was something that it was basically uh, under wraps basically is what I'm saying but that's not what they said so so, Kong Young 3 will more than likely be going back over the United States in a little while, as you see. So, I'll just finish this out 15 minutes and we'll show some more coverage tonight of it, where it's at, and we'll keep an eye on where xp 37s at, because of the idea of the strange nature of what we caught a little bit earlier tonight, of it not being on course and going over top of Africa. So, and I know the military's... Uh, 
something of that. And so basically, you just got to pay attention to the Pentagon and see where all of our forces in the United States of America are. And so that was very interesting that it was over top of Africa tonight. Okay. And U.S. SOHO satellites are doing just hunky dory up there, and they get this shot of this should be Venus. And basically, uh, I'm going to go look again and remind myself real fast that Venus has got moons because I remember one of the planets has got moons that is known to have volcanoes on it. Okay? And that could be a very good shot of one of those volcanoes going. And there's a big difference between a volcano going, because I've seen these shots before, and I'm trying to remember what planet has the moons that do that. And I'm going to go check on Venus. Venus is our only planet in our solar system that rotates the opposite direction. It does not rotate east. It rotates west. Okay? That is Venus. It's main big signature. Okay? It's totally different rotation. So, And as you can kind of see, the deflection of that, too, because the idea that you can see that basically if it was rotating east, this would be flapping over this way. And as you see, it's flapping that way. And I'm going to go check on that if that's the one that has the moon that basically, I'm trying to remember, because one of the planets is known, and they, um, since one of them is known to have a moon that does Earth uh, has volcanoes, and since it doesn't really have much of an uh, atmosphere, it just basically goes right out into space like that. Now, that's what we, I was able to tell a long time ago, that the idea that planets do a CME atmosphere reactive flare to a coronal mass ejection, which is a CME, okay? So, and that camera flare thing just does not work. Because the idea that, yes, they'll have flare when they just turn the satellite on it, but you can tell the big difference. There is a big difference, okay? Because I've showed it from a far off distance, and most all, everybody that watches my videos knows that. Okay, so let me go check on the, the moon that uh, has the volcanoes. And basically, we got some footage from NASA here. Basically, this is one of the moons of Jupiter. And it's said to have a volcano. Now, I'm wondering in the future, too, if they might end up discovering that maybe that is possibly water, too, and not a volcano, but they sure have seemed to have said that it's a volcano. So, if you see that erupting there, uh, we, I think we might have a little bit of evidence because the idea, if we don't have a, a CME, large one, we'll, we'll know on further on the movie footage, too. So, when we look at that. And then Phobos, I'm trying to remember, too, uh, so, but I think I might have Phobos confused with, uh, let me go see about Phobos grunt again and stuff like that, or Phobos. So anyway, there's your good footage of TV Ashtar, Tavashtar. Oh yeah, it is on Io. Okay, so that's what they call, there you go. Yep, Io, which basically puts off the same shadow, I've showed you that before, NASA. And that's where basically we know, and it basically stated that the objects in space put off the same size shadows as their cells. So, and then we know the configuration for a star shadow in its gaseous state divided by 2.5. Okay, so so, there you go. A better footage that we, I got of Io there now. Put that in there and then basically that's a moon of Jupiter. Okay, Io and Phobos, I think. Is that it? I don't know. Not stupid enough to say Phobos, too, so basically, I'll give you the information on Phobos real fast. It's only a little bit smaller than a... Yeah, it's way smaller than Earth's atmosphere mass, so... I'm trying to remember what Phobos is, and I'll, I'll just go get a current location of Phobos. So... Yeah, Phobos is the moon. 1.7 IU away. Average distance. So, anyway... I don't have a current map on it. Anyway, open my mouth up on it. So that's our moon, and Phobos is the moon of Mars, and that's how dinky Phobos actually is. It's very small. So our moon is actually pretty good size, except for the moons that are on Saturn, and probably the other ones too, but just, I pounced the word Phobos tonight, so. And currently, the meteor shower, even though that might be something to look at outside, uh, Basically, I got some good stuff from the 15th I'll show in the next video, and basically the, the closest thing I even saw, and it was pretty small, nothing looked big, and <clears throat> 0 0.037 IU, so it's still pretty darn far out for anything with asteroids, at least tonight, so I checked it. So I refreshed here, and right now they're directly across from each other, XP37, and then, as you can see, that over by Australia right now, XP37, I refreshed that. So, somewhat looking at each other. 
keeping an eye on each other. Because you see Australia right there. So, and as you see, it even moves a little bit while we watch, it move that fast, and it'll be going over the western part of the United States. Communist, North Korea, satellite. Okay, so, uh, and the other one's up there. Okay, I proved that a long time ago in a video, uh, and I'm, eventually if someone will give me the, the name that I can punch in for that, and not what they had it, but the, by the idea that if you can go back and watch my video that I had it, uh, but I've got 500 some videos, I don't even have time to go back and look for it. So if I can get a Signia number and somebody else has been following it, let me know that too and I'll follow the old ones because basically there's another one up there that the State Department basically honestly said it seems as though it went in the water. And it, yeah, it was just the boosters. So pretty much a lot of mid range. 4 point whatever and 4.9 five and a half quakes today you can go through the data always watch on full screen I'll scroll through this real fast uh, oh we did have a 6.4 Bougainville region okay and then a 6.3 Ireland region so three 6.3s and 290 kilometers deep so we did have a 6.3 so basically we're sticking right on track to having a bunch of six point whatever quakes every day so we've had six and a half you know 6.5 6.4 6.3 quakes predominantly that's a lot of them basically i missed it there and then this is on the 15th oh the 15th 15th okay but see we were having a lot in there and then i screwed up hitting the wrong page so we'll just keep on videoing real fast and go down through here basically like i was saying we had a lot of four point and a half quakes but we really didn't get, uh, I don't believe, because you'll blow this up on full screen, and I'll go to the first page now, and as far as I know, and we should be into the 17th now, yep, and we'll finish out on the 16th here and see if we, 5.8, and it, it didn't start until today over in the Pacific Ocean, so they're really not going away. But remember, that one was the 6.3. We basically got away from having a six-pointer today, finally. So it looks like it. But then again, maybe somebody will post in the and then if it's actual factual, then show me a six-point-something quake today. But it'll roll on. And so it's having that 5.8, then we'll see what we ring a ding in the bell for the rest of the day here. 17th starting right there. So... A 5.8 or to get the day going, and then we'll see what we'll end up with. If that was seeing a 5.8, I'm pretty sure we'll probably get a 6 again then. So, there's plenty of quakes world in America, so stay tuned. So, with it currently over the United States, uh, basically, our satellite over there pretty much should be able to tell. I'm sure they're keeping an eye on being able to read. You would think by now that we could intercept and get whatever telemetry that they're sending and know what they're sending. So, let's go look where she's at, and basically it's getting ready to go up over the western part of the United States. So, this is the U.S. right here, folks, and there it is, and that's where it's already been, okay? So, like I say, with X-37B being over where it's at right now in Korea, because basically I refreshed this, it had just passed Korea, so, and you would think it'd be at a... Even ground would be able to, AWACS plane or something should be able to intercept the, the signals that get brought back down. So, anyway, no, North Korea is over this way, I believe. All right, somewhere here. Correct, 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 correct. All righty. Okay, now I'm wondering if, and I pretty much think that we are seeing the meatball come into effect here, and basically it's coming up by the sun. So it's very well known, the meatball. So it is. It, this is getting a little bit funky because the idea that now Earth is over, way over here, okay? So we're safe, okay? But this is a big part of basically straight up the magnetical. So you're lucky if you if you did it. I'm going to try to refresh this real fast to see if it plays. And basically it should. And we'll get to see that big flash from off Venus. So I got this little bit of footage, and it's a good thing you've seen the, the end of the video. 
Okay, hot morning is tomorrow. Venus gets a big flash.